Now you might be saying to yourself, but civil, these guys play like absolute pussy. Guys, if you're looking for the most effective offensive and defensive schemes for a Madden 21 season, make sure you head on over to acemadden.com to become a member. Our pro and elite memberships offer you access to over 10 ebooks that our pro players plan on putting out through this upcoming year. And if you decide to become a member, make sure you use code CIVIL for 10% off. What is going on everybody, it's CIVIL here, and we are in a video today where we're going to be talking about how to really stop the runs out of more of these shotgun sets and lighter single back sets and before we get into it, i gotta give a big shout out to my guy cameron vickers for the hashtag civil in the comment section below in this video i have a question of the day for you guys so go in the comment section and let me know who is your favorite mutt card if you don't play mutt who is your favorite player in regs let me know if it's mutt or regs also when you're down there and while you're down there make sure you guys hit that like button helps me in the youtube algorithm if you're new to the channel subscribe for mad 21 tips and some very high level gameplay to help take your game to the next level so getting into it i'm in the kansas city chiefs uh, defensive playbook and as you can tell we are the Chiefs on defense and I'm gonna be calling cover two man and but like I said it's gonna be about stopping the run out of these shotgun sets and some of these single back sets and the main thing that we have to worry about in shotgun are going to be inside zones okay that's pretty that's pretty obvious and what we're going to do is usually we're going to press once again I'm a dollar but you can do this I have a lot of different sets like this um, and I'm in cover two man you don't have to do it out of that just what I choose from because man is the metal right now and we are going to shift our line towards the opposite side of the running back. So where the inside zone would go, we're going to shift our line towards that. Now, you don't always have to do that, but I found it's a little bit more consistent when you do that. Um, and then you're going to take your user. You're going to want to use her a safety. The safety's huge. You're going to want to use her a safety. A linebacker usually won't shoot the gap. But use her a safety and bring him down just outside this tight end. So you're kind of hiding right here. And when you snap that ball, you're going to be able to come in and just molly whop them in the backfield. And I'm, I'll jump into Instant Replay real fast to show you that. Now, this concept has been the same for the past few years. Um, that You know, it's changed just ever so slightly. But you're going to see how, look, look, the right guard goes, takes him. The uh, right tackle takes 70, or 77, takes this guy. Boom, you're able to come free. Molly whop him one time. Absolute bang stick, whatever. There you go. It's that easy. Now, like I said, you do not always have to shift your line. Uh, it just kind of depends on what kind of formation you're playing. So, like, right here, I won't shift my line. And we'll see if it's still going to be okay. And it will be. And as you see, another molly whop in the backfield. It, it just gets a little bit inconsistent sometimes if you're not shifting your line. So, this is a safer way to do it. But you see how we're really just going right here, hiding outside the, t uh, the tight end, opposite the halfback. And then we're just able to shoot in. And that time, you know, just a hell of a form tackle from Sneed right there. But... That's going to be the best way to do it, and that's going to do a really good job of stopping most of these runs. And you can do this kind of same concept from like a dime, uh, from nickel. You can do the same concept from a lot of things. This is really a universal type of thing. Like I said, it's a legacy thing you're able to do too throughout Madden's. But one thing you might be saying to yourself is, but civil, these guys just keep playing like pussies. So, if they keep audibling down, what you're going to want to do is really, really simple. So let's say, you know, oh my gosh, they're in this, and these guys just have no intention of actually throwing the ball. They just want to audible down, right? Boom. They're just going to audible down to this. Oh my gosh, they want to run dive. They're, they're terrified of passing the ball. It's the same thing. You're going to hide just outside of that tight end. That's the big one. And you're going to be able to shoot in like so. Molly whop them in the backfield, and people just be able to lay an absolute boomstick out. Now, when they audible down, you don't really need to shift your line as much right here, uh, right here I accidentally shift my line you don't really need to as much um you can if you find it like it, ha it might help somewhat for you uh and it might help against stretch as well but I know for my experiences you don't really need to as much and we'll see right here we we do um it just leaves a lot of the backside hole open so if they want to flip that run which a lot of single back runs can uh, that becomes a lot better a run, but I mean look I'm gonna jump into a couple, into a couple different formations show you the same concept and make sure you're sticking with me because this is Very important stuff to be able to help shoot these gaps So one thing is that when you have a four down lineman set like something like nickel normal and they want to run the ball from something uh, Under center this is actually a great thing that you're able to do to shoot the gap against these type of runs and it's really just going to be shooting from left to right in this type of situation. So actually, let me switch it. So where we have somebody in between the guard and the center. And watch Wilson right here. We should be able to shoot this gap pretty easily. We do. And we're able to make the tackle. And really, the concept behind that is quite simple. Where you know, if you hide right here, you're going to become one of the people on the backside's target, right? They're going to target you in the run blocking. So... All you have to do is just beat them over. 
and sometimes what will happen is that that center will actually get off that block which does make it a little bit more difficult to do but you're still you're gonna be able to find a lot of success with it and you can actually do it sometimes depending on formation from right to left so if we hide right here able to shoot it and just sometimes it gets a little bit inconsistent but you did see on that first one that we gave a very clean shoot on that and that's really the biggest thing now if you guys are interested we do have Manu's ebook over on the aceman.com which is linked in the description below that ebook doesn't use these type of same concepts uh, throughout but that run defense is still really good so if you're just looking for a remedy that's just to like given to you straight up that's a really good one but I mean, you're gonna be able to see that we will be able to shoot like this quite frequently and you see once again we're able to shoot it I missed a hit stick I'm trying to use two good shoulders but don't worry about that one right we're coming free just really easily and that's the main thing that you have to be able to like really look for out of these type of sets. Now, this gets weirder when you get into 3-4. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of it, but you can still do it. And once again, you can still use her, this safety and be able to find how to shoot the gap. You're able to see we're able to come free and absolutely, once again, just get a hit stick from hell on him. And we can do the same thing if they go into shotgun from, the gun, from uh, a nickel set, right? We can do the same exact thing. But against all shotgun runs for the most part, you're going to want to remember that you're going to want to use her a safety to shoot it that's gonna be your most consistent way of shooting these so once again boom going to this and this time you don't even really need to shift your line just hide with him outside and oh geez we just got absolutely monster pancake and so that's where it comes in where you have to kind of lab it a little bit for each formation because it does change at times it does change so right here we're actually going to against something like this it might be smarter to hide even further outside and make sure that 77 doesn't see us and you see him still seeing us and with nasty streak he's just an absolute beast so I want to see really fast actually how the best way to shoot this backside is, or rather just this play in general is, and it might be something like this where you just pinch your entire defense and go down like so. And we're actually still, we're getting someone to come free, but our user shoot is still getting picked up. So like I've been saying, it is sometimes something where you just have to kind of mess with it yourself to be able to see the best way. I want to try a few more times just to be able to get, uh, I think it might be the nasty streak that's really messing me up here. Um, but even coming down from down, like just straight up downhill, and you see, okay, so we're still getting someone to come free. Sometimes that is the thing with shooting gaps is that you will get picked up yourself. And I'll show it in the replay. Just don't mind the nasty streak just obliterating me. Um, but the thing is sometimes we will get uh, somebody come free. So look at Hitchens right here. Even though my user got picked up, Hitchens is still able to come free. And, and that is the kind of thing with shooting sometimes too where your user will get picked up. And once again, I mean, just look at the annihilation right here. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Just taking him to, oh my gosh. Oh, he sent him back to the shadow realm on that. But anyways, 53 able to come free on it without uh with our user getting picked up and just getting blown back to hell. And I mean that that'll become pretty consistent. You do want to lab this stuff, but you can't just jump in and just say, oh here we go, we're gonna do it now. You do need to practice it somewhat yourself, and you 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 you'll be able to see it for the most part of how it's going to be able to work. Uh, in real game situations against each individual formation, but that's really good wrap up this video guys If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button for me Make sure you answer the question of the day. Just who's your favorite mutt card if you play regs? Who's your favorite regs guy? I'm picking one of you guys if you want to get shout out in the next video comment down below uh, And you're new to the channel subscribe for more man one tips like this or great man one content Check out the rest of the channel if you guys are new here check it out We have some really good videos you guys are gonna watch. All right. I'll see y'all in the next video